Welcome to our online math classroom, where math knowledge makes things easier. Today we'll be starting our unit on statistics and probability, specifically 6 for 6th grade, SP for statistics and probability, and our first standard is A1. Today, you'll be able to identify the difference between statistical and non-statistical questions and create models that represent the anticipated data from statistical questions, such as charts and tables. But first, let's consider what is statistics? What is probability? Well, statistics is a branch of mathematics that deals with data collection, organization of data, analyzing the data, interpreting it, and then presenting that data. And probability is a measure of the likelihood that an event will happen. So statistics involves analyzing past events, and probability deals with predicting the likelihood of future events. Statistical investigations begin with a question, and the answers to such questions always involve variability in the answer to them. So, so statistical questions could have variable answers, and then depending on the responses that match different answers, we could collect those responses as numerical data. But not every question is a statistical question. And just because a question has various answers doesn't mean that that's necessarily a statistical question. For example, the question, what is 2 plus 3? You might get various answers but there's really only one valid answer to that question. So when we ask a statistical question, we expect to get a variety of answers, a variety of valid answers. But getting a variety of answers to a question doesn't always mean that the answers represent statistical variability. So how can you determine if a question is a statistical question? When considering a question, ask yourself, is there an exact answer to this question? Or will answers vary? So here's the guided instruction problem from this week's worksheet. You're responsible for submitting the form online to answer every question. But let's work this one together. Which question here is a statistical question? We're going to use our definition from before that if an exact answer could be given to a question, then it's not a statistical question. But if answers can vary, valid answers can vary, then the question is a statistical question. So this question, how tall is the oak tree? Well, you can measure it. And that measurement should just be one number. How, how tall is that tree? So that does not represent a statistical question. There's only one answer to that question. How much did the tree grow in one year? Well, you could have measured it all year. There's only one measurement for how tall it actually grew in the course of one year. So that's also not a statistical question. What are the heights of the oak trees in the schoolyard? There's more than one tree. and you're most likely going to have different measurements for different trees. You could collect those different answers and see which trees were the same height, which ones were not. Then you can analyze it to see why some were taller, why some were not taller, maybe some were in the shade, maybe some were given plant food or more water. You could have various answers because there are various trees, so that does represent a statistical question. What's the difference in height between the oak tree and the pine tree? there's only one measurement that tells you the difference between those two trees. So that, that would not represent a statistical question. So hopefully it's a little bit more clear. If you have any questions, let me know during our next Google Meet session. Remember, not only should you be watching this video, which will help you answer one of the questions on the worksheet form, and use the answer form to record all the questions from the worksheet. Make sure you hand it in. And this week, it's going to be a little different instead of taking attendance with the attendance form, I'll be taking attendance with the answer forms that you submit. Again, if you have any questions, you can contact me through our Google Classroom or just bring your question to our next Google Meet session. 
I hope everyone's doing well, and I look forward to speaking with you soon.